Hey, what's going on guys? I've been getting a lot of different questions around diet, nutrition, training, that sort of thing. And the long answer short is I don't actually like believe in a set diet. I've been obsessive on this topic, like spent a ton of different time researching it. And for me, it comes down to more applied learning and just kind of understanding general human biology, ancestral being, all that. So we're gonna just follow kind of a day in the life of what that looks like from what I eat to what a workout looks like, the timing, and just kind of cover it from there. So let's jump right into it. So first thing in the morning, it always starts with 40 ounces of water with some pink Himalayan salt added. It's important to get hydrated first thing in the morning. I'm usually functioning by like 5 a.m., I have black pour over coffee shortly after. I do a quick yoga flow and I get some work done and then morning cardio usually calls me. It's generally a hit session. I love my Peloton. 20 to 30 minute sessions of maximum effort to stimulate fat burning and boost brain function for the day. I don't do this every day, but try to fit it in a couple times a week. Jump rope sessions and boxing drills are also on my list. Today I'm doing a chest workout. So the first meal is gonna have some carbs added for better workout performance especially after driving my glycogen levels down this morning with HIT. All right, so the first meal today, we're going cage-free eggs, spinach, and some goat cheese wrapped up into an omelet. Now, typically, that's kind of what my first meal of the day will always look like. Low glycemic foods, high in protein, mid to high range in fat, generally no carbohydrates. But today, since I hit HIT in the morning and I plan on doing a chest workout this afternoon, I'm actually bringing in some Capella's pizza as well. And I feel like this might like shock a lot of people. I do eat high quality carbs. Uh, this is a bit of a, a treat for me, but with cage-free eggs and almond flour crust brought together, it's still pretty high up there on the general health scale. So I actually love this brand. And um, you know, I'm strategically positioning my carbs for a stronger workout this afternoon. Hey, and I hear a lot of people say, no, I can't do this. Like I need to eat first thing in the morning or oh, I need to eat or I get hangry or whatever it might be. No, you can definitely do this. Humans have been doing this since the beginning of time. This whole having to be constantly fed thing, that's new. You can do this. Our bodies are highly, highly adaptable. It might take a little time. It might take a little work to get there, but you can do this. You can definitely do this and you will feel better and you will feel healthier as a result. After this, it's time to train. I mix Genius Muscle with Genius Pre to really get things going. If I feel like I'm lagging, I might add some Genius Caffeine, but today I'm feeling good, so I'm just gonna hit it as is. For me, it's always been about applied learning. It's about understanding how various nutrients impact our body and then cultivating a lifestyle that maximizes our own biology. And at the end of the day, it's not even that complicated. I've built my approach to be sustainable. I've never followed a strict diet. I've never counted calories. I've just applied general biology and metabolic knowledge to eating habits. I've tried to make it make sense and I've tried to make it optimally human. So many people, when they think diet, they think like losing or gaining weight. And they think that's kind of like, like that's how people associate diet. But really for me, it comes down to like life performance is these biological inputs of how do you want to perform on a day in day out basis. And then structuring your own eating habits to really, really fire at a peak level. Like it's critical, it's super important. So there's a lot of questions around how many meals you should eat per day. And mine always changes per the needs of the day. Um, so on most days, I generally won't have my first meal until I have some form of exercise. And that honestly like has ancestral roots. As you're seeing, a lot of like what I do has ancestral roots because time has proven that valid. It's kind of a fun thought process there, but it's really like earn what you eat, right? And they literally had to do that in the old times. It was 
I mean, they, they had to earn it in the sense that they had to actually go kill it. So to offset modernity a little bit, I like to train and get some form of exercise in. And from a metabolic standpoint, it's ideal. Like think about it, the constant stimuli of having food and snacks around us, that is modern. Society's growth and our like technological evolution has far exceeded our own biology from an evolutionary standpoint. Like we still have a lot of these animalistic roots for lack of a better term in us and the modern environment has shaped in a way that is starting to work against us. So on the rare occasions that I do take a day off completely, I'll most likely have one meal and it will definitely be later in the afternoon. I'll still fast through the morning. I will also occasionally fast completely through the day, but I'm not here to scare anyone with anything too radical. I believe everyone can have an optimal human physique and it comes down to just taking a conscious approach to diet. So for dinner, we have venison filet mignon and a kale salad with shredded chicken. So again, sticking to that high protein idea. And um, as you can see, I've been really on the game meat lately. There will always be elements of variety. Like one night it might be salmon and you know, like a spinach salad, but I'm always aiming for like dark leafy greens as the vegetables and then some high quality protein source on the meat front. Um, so game meat's been like a, a big thing lately. A lot of elk, venison, um, grass fed beef, bison. I love fish, so like salmon, tuna, halibut we're in the Pacific Northwest, so we're blessed with a lot of great food. Um, but this is the second meal of the day after training, so going high on the protein front, low glycemic foods, so my, my blood sugar, my blood glucose will continue to ramp back down, and I should wake up tomorrow feeling great. It's like four hours before bed right now, so I'm gonna have plenty of time to digest this before I go to sleep. So this will be it for the day. I like to finish my last meal three hours before going to bed. From a circadian biology standpoint, this is ideal. Rest and digest, it's better for your recovery. You'll bounce back faster, you'll sleep better, and you're gonna wake up ready for the next day, really on point. All right, so full disclosure here too, I don't cook any of my own meals. So shout out to my beautiful, amazing wife. She really takes the lead on this, um, is always cooking up something new, something delicious, so shout out to her. In our house, we, we believe in, in meals being kind of like the center of it, so each meal, in and of itself is like, it's an event. No phones at the table. And we really treat, treat it as something special. So with that in mind, I don't snack at any point during the day. And I think it's very important that you don't snack during the day. Because again, the way our digestive system works, you're constantly throwing it in flux and it's just taxing your body across the board. So consolidating to one or two high quality meals and then putting effort into them and getting quality behind them, it's gonna make a load of difference. And a lot of that comes from like a fundamental belief but again, I feel like when you're taking the time to prepare a quality meal and sit down and enjoy it, it enables you to leave all the processed and refined junk on the shelf and focus on what matters. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm gonna look to do some more of these because I've got various training routines and of course a bunch of different meals I'm constantly experimenting with. So if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. If you got any comments, drop them in the section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. As always, all love and thank you for tuning in. What a man.